Hey, what's up guys, BVHD here, back with episode 18 of Skill to Division 1. Now as you can see here, we do go off and sign Sandro for the central midfield, uh, centre mid position in the 4-5-1 Premier League team. Um, and then we go and pick up Diego Tardelli in form for 12,000 coins with a finisher trait on him, which is, or chemistry style, sorry, which I thought was amazing. Um, I did pick up Sandro for the main reason that in the, quite a few videos back in the comments, one of you guys recommended him or SEN. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about Sando this year, he's quite a good player. So I thought I'd pick him up. Um, we go into our first game here and you can, as you can see it's a very poor, si very poor side, only two good strikers really. Uh, chemistry wise anyway, he's got um, Defoe and Welbeck clinking up there. Um, and once again I've really struggled, I've really really struggled in this game. Not necessarily to create chances but more to finish it. Um, and I don't know what it is because Pato usually whenever I've used him in the past has been a clinical finisher um, for some reason at the moment he's going through a spell and the whole team really maybe it's probably just me on FIFA I'm going for a spell where I can't seem to score like even the simplest of goals I can't seem to score and I mess around like doing stuff like that because I just I don't know I play FIFA for fun I don't know it's hard to explain because obviously you want to win the game but I kind of forget that I'm recording for a series and I just mess around which is what I do usually when I'm playing FIFA um, so I tend to not get many goals um, I'm going to try and change that because you know obviously winning games is the whole point of the series because I want to win get to Division 1 and hopefully win Division 1 or just get there I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do in the past I've just played when I've done this series I have just played until I get to Division 1 um, but we'll see how it goes um, with regards to that because I might try and win it I don't think I'll be able to I'm going to be honest with you guys the way I'm playing at the moment I don't even know what division I'm in I'm like Division 8, 7 I probably think it's like Division 8 um, and we're still struggling to win games so I can't even imagine what it's going to be like if we manage to get to Division 1 it's going to be crazy sweaty um, but yeah as you can see in this game, we had a lot of chances, a heck of a lot, and compared to the second game, um, a lot of chances, we didn't score until the 90th minute and I pulled out, I didn't even intend to do that, I'm not even going to lie, I did not even mean to do that, I tried to pull it back, and it made a pretty good pass, but it was such a sweaty goal, a little tramp goal there, I wasn't happy with that, but at the same time I kind of was, because it means I get a it means I get a point, um, which is better than nothing, I suppose. But anyway, we're getting tough. Going, oh my god, my commentary is terrible again. We go into the second game here. And as you can see, he's got kind of a weird little mix. He's got a bit of League One in there with Thiago Silva and a few other players there, uh, Russian League, so on and so on. And we're just showing here the inform uh, Diego Tardelli's in-game stats. Um, if you for a few guys were interested, really, I just thought I'd show it. Um, obviously. You know, he's a pretty good player, I've not really had much chance to use him and I've not played FIFA in a couple of days now as you will have noticed there's not been any videos for about 4 or 5 days I think it's about 4 days, Thursday night I think was the last one um, so yeah yeah I've, I've not really had ch much chance to use him but in this, in this game and I think I used, I played one more game um, in this game he was pretty good, his weak foot still lets him down I find I tend to be getting chances on his left foot but as you can see here straight from the kickoff he does a, I did quite a bit of good work here and I should have shot and I don't know why I just walked with the ball there I should have just finished that, ni nice little finesse shot would have finished it of course he goes up the other end of the bloody pitch and just bags one in the 7th minute, literally straight after that. I don't know how that went in, it was a pretty good strike but De Gea really should be dealing with that. Ronaldinho going on a bit of a crazy run as I like to do. Um, we do mess up just here as he gets a tackling. But um, yeah, uh, you guys are determined for me to continue continuing my uploads like as frequent as possible because every time I don't upload, if I don't upload for a day or two, um, I'm sorry, I should have put it on the screen, but um, I think it's George, it might be George, on Twitter. Um, he just comment in the, on the videos as well, but he always tweets me if there's not a video going, oh, where is school to Division 1, what are you doing? So, you know, that kind of reminds me, because to be honest, I kind of forget about it. I'm not going to lie, I forget I do YouTube sometimes, because I do have a lot of other things going on, but... Um, yeah, we are coming towards the end of the video. I do appreciate that, guys. Like George, I, I think it's George. I, I hope it's George, because if it's not, then I'm going to feel really bad after this video. But I do appreciate you guys like motivating me and encouraging me to continue with my videos and continue uploading. And the sport at the moment has been great. You know, I think we're about 11 subs off 1.1k, which is brilliant, guys. So uh, thanks a lot for that. I hope you have enjoyed the video. A like would be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Cheers, guys.